Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't know what happened. We got cut short. My name is Shana Singleton, aka the Herpes Goddess. And yes, having me is a big flex. I am the founder of Herpes Can Ever, growing the largest herpes awareness platform because I inspire people to love themselves more. The mission of Herpes Can Ever is to be at war with the stigma until our community feels comfortable being open about their status and proud of their sexuality. Welcome to the live. I wanted to hop on here and just do a live Q&A. I love you more, your favorite 701. Thank you. Talk to y'all, answer whatever question, have whatever conversation y'all may have. Um, I'm really on TikTok now. I've been shadow banned. They don't even push my content anymore here on this app. Um, it's even a warning before people come and follow me, which is pretty sad. I don't do anything on this app but spread awareness. Can an outbreak go away without medication? Sure it can. <clears throat> if you're interested um, in some remedies, we have our herpes diet and remedies workshop located in the link in my bio. The link in my bio is my link tree. If you select that link tree, there's so many different resources there. I see eight people on a live. Um, support is free and your girl needs it. May you please tap the screen for me, please. You are welcome. Okay. Anyone have any questions? What would you like to talk about? Does anyone want to know my story? I'm so proud of you, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Um, You guys, I've been banned from the Creator Fund. I do appreciate the gifts, but when you guys send gifts to me i don't receive any of it tiktok doesn't give me any of that they pocket it all um so try to refrain from sending me gifts i wish i could um take it off take it off hey queen hi keep up the great work thank you i mean i've been slightly discouraged um lately i've been pouring into the community but unfortunately, the community have not been pouring into me. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to um, keep up this herpes, herpes advocacy thing. Um, I'm a single mom, y'all. And um, I've been in a financial crisis. I've been trying to get my, my credit in order. Um, currently living um, with my family until I can find a place. But that's hard to do. So <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit discouraged, but thank you for asking. I really mean that. I wish people would stop with the stigma. Don't be discouraged. Thank you. It's not the stigma that's discouraging me. It's just a way of my way of life, you know, trying to live and maintain a lifestyle for myself and my son and also be dedicated to the community at the same time. Um, a lot of people in the community feel like I should just do everything for free. <laughs> and I can't do things for free for too much longer without having to stop this whole process so that I can make a life for me and my son. Thank you, Mind Your Business. I appreciate the compliment. Do you take daily medication? No, I do not. Don't worry, God got you. Stay positive. Yes, I'm trying to, um, I speak gratitude every day. Just been going through a lot lately, so it's starting to take a toll on me. China Doll, thank you for the rose, China Doll, but unfortunately, I won't get any of that. I have been banned from the Creator Fund, so TikTok doesn't give me anything. Mind your business. You're welcome. Nicole Woodson. Howdy. Hi. How you doing, Nicole? Do not grow weary in well-doing because if you faint not, you will reap a harvest. Try the business from instead form instead of creator i have my business page it's the herpes can never page is the business page maybe you can send to your cash app thank you 
Thank you, China Doll. Why did they ban you? Because I, a lot of people don't like what I'm doing. They feel like I'm glorifying herpes. So my content gets reported often. And even though my content, I put in an appeal and my content comes right back up. Um, for some reason, it still counts against me. So they, TikTok is still looking at all the content that gets reported every all the time so yeah there's that <laughs> you ever try luminescent red no i have not don't even know what that is why are you crying, love? I'm not crying. <laughs> hey. I've noticed that they ban anybody speaking the truth. They'll ban anybody encouraging people. I love what you're doing. I seriously appreciate you. Thank you. Did you hear about Rationale Vaccine? I know about Rationale Vaccine. Did something new happen? I actually know um, Augustine personally. Not my girl from Instagram. Hi, Oprah Bonnie. The people who hate to see you shine keep reporting it. They want people to suffer. You're brave to come out to everyone. Oh, I, I, thank you. I have a hard time taking that brave compliment. I'm just living in my truth. I think people who run into burning buildings to save someone's lives, now that's bravery because I'm not doing that, <laughs> just to be honest. I was brave to sign a dotted line. I am a veteran, but for me, just living in my truth, I don't want to be brave for that. I want any everyone to be able to live in their truth. Hey, how you doing? I'm sorry, this is, it keeps floating up. How do I help with lip breakouts besides med? I've created a whole workshop um, titled Herpes Diet and Remedies. Um, you can find that in the link in my bio and it'll break down everything that you can do during, a, um, during an active outbreak. What is your favorite thing to do when you're feeling down? Ground myself, pray, and meditate. That's what I do. Are you warning people about what happened to you? I'm warning. I have nothing to warn anyone about. I appreciate your advocacy. I don't understand as to how people could be so ignorant. Not knowing. That's it. How do you know when you're going to have an outbreak? My prodrome symptoms appear. Do you go live with others? I do. Um, actually, we're on live often on Instagram. I go live with the co-founder of Herpes Can Ever, Ms. Amber Sprott Jones. She is HSV2 positive, asymptomatic. I also go live with Euphoria, who is HSV1 and HSV2 um, positive. She also gets herpetic Whitlow. Um, we go on live every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday, three times on Instagram, twice on Clubhouse, every single week. I'm barely here on TikTok just because I don't there's no love here on TikTok. But if you're interested in the movement, I'm posting daily on my Instagram. We have a private Facebook group. My membership is going to launch pretty soon. Um, just select the link in my bio. Tons of resources there. Your account helped me leave my abusive ex. I thought nobody else would want me, but I was wrong. I love that. I love reading stuff like that. Are you in Mississippi? I'm in Arkansas. No, I'm in Florida. Thank you. In 
warning, not warning. Keep pushing, queen. Thank you. What part of Florida? I'm in Melbourne. I'm in Brevard County. Is it hard for you to date? Not even. My DMs is popping. <laughs> Just being honest. But honestly, that's not my focus right now. Dating is really not my focus. I'm just trying to get my sh my stuff together and my stuff in order before I even put myself out there. I'm not trying to have somebody, I'm not trying to bring somebody in my life and I still got some healing that I need to do that's unfair of me and that's selfish of me. What does viral shedding look and feel like? Viral shedding doesn't have a look and sometimes it doesn't feel like anything. Um, outbreaks is an, out, is an indication that you're going through viral shedding. Prodrome symptoms is an indication that you're going through viral shedding. But sometimes you can have viral shedding and not have either of the two. So there's that. Hey, love, working all these platforms get stressful i love to do it it's just there's no money in it so it kind of takes a toll on you like i want to push and i want to provide the community but i need the community to pour into me so i can continue to pour into the community have you started your book club for the herpes journal yes that starts um actually in december membership drops on black friday and then that should be up and running by December, according to Amber. I have a friend who was thinking about Sue. I can't say that or they're going to cut me off. Um, because she has it and the person who gave it to her sent her to us. Are you nervous that you'll have to explain it to your new man? I mean, my name is Herpes Goddess. I wear t-shirts that say herpes. I'm the founder of Herpes Can Never. Um, does that answer your question, Darnella? Or do I have to say no? <laughs> it's not detrimental. Damn near everyone has. I have so much other shit in my life that are deeper than herpes. Mm -mm. What's the worst reaction you got from telling someone that you were talking to about having it? I never had a bad reaction. How do you feel about people know you got it? Don't, how do your family treat you? My family treats me just the same. Thank you for reaching out for my comments. How did you cope? Cause I'm having a hard, time um self-love self-love taking time for myself to love myself unconditionally learning how to accept the virus learning about the virus practicing saying herpes practicing disclosure ridding myself from validation um i had to realize that other people what fuels the stigma in anyone's life is the fear of what other people are going to think of you the fear of what other people are going to say and honestly no one's opinion of me is going to wipe my ass give me an orgasm pay my bills beat me take care of my son it's not going to do any of that for me so why allow it to have so much weight over my life once i that clicked in my head i stopped giving up about what other people think and I made my opinion of myself number one in my life I love me I'm enough for me my hobbies my happiness what I want to do my life is enough for me myself to spend a lifetime with 
I'm not looking for anyone else to fill a void. I don't feel lonely in my own space. I appreciate being in my own space and anyone coming into my life has to add to that. But when it comes to my happiness, I don't allow anyone to be able to come in and and take away. You can't take away from my happiness. You can only add to it. Your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility only. We must learn how to accept our status because we can't expect other people to accept our status if you don't accept your status. That is a tall order and a high expectation. I just found out I have herpes. I've been having a hard time of getting sick every month. Well, you're you getting sick, it means your your immune system is low, and a low immune system will trigger on an outbreak. Did you get it from someone you thought you trust? I don't know who I got it from. Uh, the herpes virus is so tricky that it would be hard to figure out who I got it from. I know who I was with when I found out I had herpes, but that doesn't guarantee that the person that I was with was the person that gave it to me. See, I didn't know herpes wasn't included in your standard STD panel. I wasn't the type of person that said, hey, doc, show me my results and explain this to me. I didn't do that. The doctor just told me that I was good and I ran with it and assumed that the doctor was testing me for everything. Three, when I was having sex with my partner, I didn't require to physically see their test results. I trusted that they were telling me the truth, but that's not enough. I'm a grown woman. I can't be putting my own sexual health in the responsibility of another adult just because I trust them more. I trust the vibe. That's three. And then another thing, herpes is known as the creeping virus. It's a very tricky virus. It can lie dormant in your body for years and then wake up. So there's no way of me telling who gave me the virus. And I, I don't, I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to point fingers, and I don't want to place the blame on anyone. <clears throat> right, because many want you, but only I matter wanting you in the world. Come here, bring that in. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse before they bring me out. Did you get it from someone who thought you? Okay, I read that. I appreciate your bravery. And reflection of self-love, this is so common, more than people know. Yes, there's more people in the entire planet that has some form of herpes than there is without. I assume the same thing, that it was a part of the standard testing. Yeah, we, well, with awareness, we, we, we are able to spread that message and spread that knowledge. But if we have a whole community of people who have herpes that are too afraid to talk about it, too afraid to say something, then it's going to continue to happen. So this is why it's important to hold these spaces so that we can spread the news. People aren't real these days. I mean, what's your definition of real? I assume that too. When I found out I had herpes, oh, I was such a victim. Nothing that went wrong at that time, nothing, everything that was going wrong in my life was never my fault and it was always everyone else's fault. And the minute I found out, I point fingers to the person that I was with when I could have easily been the one that brought the herpes in the relationship in the first place. Do we have any any questions? I'm over here running my mouth. Let me get this charger. Have you tried a raw plant-based diet to heal? Um, I if y'all didn't know, I am a chef. I have my BS in food science and culinary arts. Well, one of my bachelor's degrees is in that. I am a plant-based chef at that. I've tried it all, but never to heal, only to better my life, quiet my outbreaks. 
what time what antiviral medication would you suggest um that's on you antivirals do different things for everyone so that's a journey that you will have to take for yourself i personally don't take antivirals so i don't feel comfortable saying which one that you should take um they work but me personally they was causing me depression i was losing my hair and um i don't want it to cause problems for my kidneys later on in life so i don't take antivirals at all how did you know what were your symptoms i know my prodrome symptoms because i took two years to body journal and learn my triggers and prodrome symptoms um the knowledge the research the data everything that i've collected from that journey i have placed it in a workshop for the community and you can find the link for that in my bio title, Learn Your Triggers and Prodrome Symptoms. How do I help my partner cope? Because he has, has it too, and I feel so guilty about it. One, I will ask, why do you feel guilty? Do you feel guilty because you didn't tell him? And then he found out he had it? And two, just send your child's father over here to come do the healing with us. Can someone else see my questions? Well, I see that. But if you put it in the question box, I won't I won't put it up to the screen. My prodrome symptoms, we list prodrome symptoms in the Learn Your Triggers and Prodrome Symptoms workshops. I only have two personally. I get a tingling sensation on my outbreak site. And I get nerve pain on my right leg from my right toe all the way to my right thigh. But that's not the that's not the same or the case for everyone within the community. Um, everyone has different symptoms. I did put it in the question, but I don't. I only see one question in the question box, and I answered it already. I told him the moment I found out, but I never knew that I may have had it previously. Okay, well, I mean, yes, I don't feel like there's anything to be guilty of if you told him. Where would your outbreaks take place? Every Outbreaks can be anywhere, y'all. Outbreaks can be in your eyes, in your nose, in your lips, inside of your mouth, inside of your throat, on your ears. On your fingertips, that's called herpetic wet row. On your arms, on your vagina, on your penis, on your butt, on your legs. It can be anywhere on your body. My my personal outbreaks is on my vagina, right lip towards the bottom. But that's just me. Everyone is different. Everyone's outbreaks show up different. Your outbreak is usually the point of entry of the virus. Where the virus enters your body. So if the virus entered my body here, I probably would experience outbreaks here, but it didn't. How long did it take for it to go away? How long did it take for what to go away? An outbreak? It depends. Um, I don't get outbreaks anymore. I put my outbreaks to sleep. But when I was getting outbreaks, the longest outbreak that I experienced was a week. And that was with me not knowing my body or knowing anything about the virus. Um, my shortest outbreak ever was less than 24 hours. So again, it depends. What's true for me may not be true for the next person. <clears throat> Did the person you were with at the time you found out get herpes too? Um, the person I was with says they don't have herpes. I don't know that for sure. I never looked at their test results, but that's what they say. So I hope they know. So if someone gets an outbreak under their eye, it enters their house. Um, it could be maybe someone kissed you there who's going through virus shedding on their lips. It could be maybe somebody who have a herpetic whitlow touched you in the face and they was experienced viral shedding on where they experienced outbreaks on their hands. I mean, 
Herpes is only spread through skin to skin contact. So the how of your question is skin to skin contact. How do you go about informing your partners? Me personally, I've rid myself from disclosure because I'm so public about my status. It's usually a go follow me on TikTok, Herpes Goddess, or it comes up in a question, what do you do for a living? I'm a herpes advocate. But um, that's my honest answer. We have came up with a disclosure method. The method is called Put Your Pussy on the Table. Pussy is an acronym. P is for positivity. U is for understanding. First S is for set the tone. The second S is for the sex talk. And Y is for your story. If that disclosure method is something that you're interested in, you can select the link in my bio and you will find Safe Sex and Herpes Disclosure Workshop. Mines are usually on my inner thigh, annoying little shh, but rarely getting since releasing stress. I know that's right. I get possible outbreaks in my right hand near my thumb. I have to go have it checked. If shave slash wax down there, can an outbreak happen after? I say no, but if you are experiencing prodrome symptoms, you can trigger an outbreak. Um, if your immune system is low, you can trigger an outbreak. There's so many variables. We did place some waxing tips on our Instagram page. Instagram is herpes can never. Um, you can find the tips there. I've only had one outbreak. Is that normal? The normal is not to experience outbreaks at all. Um, most people with herpes never experience an outbreak. Some people get one outbreak and never get an outbreak again. Some people get back-to-back -back outbreaks. Um, everyone's different. Wish me luck with my doctor on Wednesday. Sending you all the luck. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Did I miss something? Let me scroll up and see. How did you put yours to sleep? I changed my lifestyle, Ash Cash. Okay. Is TikTok hiding my comments? Have you had S therapy? I don't know what S therapy is, my love. Um, I see 85 people on this live, but I need y'all support, and support is free, so please tap the screen for me. Please tap the screen for me. I would appreciate it. How do you handle negative people? See, negative people make me sad. They don't make me angry anymore they used to make me angry but they don't make me angry anymore um and if i'm ever tr triggered it's never the other person and what they're saying to me it's how i'm choosing to feel about what they're saying to me and what truth is it what truth does it hold and i tend to work on that but when i see somebody negative who go out their way to be negative to me just because i'm living out loud i instantly feel sad for them because I never wake up in the morning and say that I want to go out my way to be mean to somebody. I never wake up in the morning and say I want to go out my way and be negative to somebody. Do you know how miserable with your life you have to be to wake up and choose just to make other people miserable? Misery loves company. And some people are not even aware of their own misery. So <laughs> they just, they're, they're trapped in that mindset and trapped in that negativity. So it's not more so me handling it. It's just me understanding that and knowing that people are going to project how they really feel about themselves on you, especially if they see you living out and open and loving yourself. They go, how dare she love herself? And she has something like herpes and I can't do that with, do that for myself and I don't even have herpes. <sighs> suppression medication suppression therapy 
my first two years of my herpes diagnosis, I took antivirals, but I stopped. Do you take medication on a daily basis? If so, what for the outbreak? No, I don't take medication. If you was to shave or get waxed, would an outbreak happen? Um, no, but if you are having experiencing prodrome symptoms, you can trigger on an outbreak during the, during that time, or if your immune system is low. I mean, it's gonna be different. It's gonna look different for everyone. There's no real yes or no answer for that question. And you're such an inspiration. Thank you. No, thank you. Exactly. How can you get rid of dark marks, OB leaves, plant-based? Okay, that's a great question. And honestly, that is a question for Amber. Um, she is going to do a YouTube video. I hope you guys are all following her. Watch Amber on YouTube. She's the co-founder of Herpes Can Never, but she's also an esthetician. And she specializes in the skin. Um, me, I'm always going to tell you some shea butter. And some vitamin E oil. <laughs> mix it up with a little cocoa butter. Shea, cocoa, and vitamin E. If you mix it up, Smoothie Skincare does it for you already with their body butter. But that's with my dog marks, it works. But she's going to go more in depth as a licensed, a licensed esthetician. Hello, um, Black. Black Dadun? Two times? Hello. I had a friend try to shame someone for having herpes. Your friend probably has herpes. I noticed that a lot of people who do the shaming are the ones who have herpes that are shaming themselves. There's been two people I've encountered that have seen my shirt in public and go like this and screw up their face. And then we start talking and they're like, oh, I have herpes too, but I have HSV1. <laughs> As if it's something different. If a person is asymptomatic, will they remain that way forever? Everyone is different and successful with Nika. Everyone's herpes story is different. Some people's virus lives dormant for a lifetime. Some people's virus lives dormant for decades and then pop up. A lot of people who took the COVID vaccine just finding out they have herpes. Why? Because their immune system was compromised and the herpes virus decided to pop up. Everyone is different. I unfortunately have an outbreak after every period. Should I start antivirals during my period? That would be a personal choice. Um, I used to think outbreaks was triggering on my periods was triggering an outbreak. But the truth of the matter was when I started my body journaling journey, I found out that I was eating foods that were triggering an outbreak every time I was on my period. Come in, boo. So it wasn't my period triggering an outbreak. It was my lifestyle. Yes, babes. Okay. You want a piece of bread? Yes. All right. You want to bring it to me so I can open it for you? I found that I have uh, herpes about a month ago, and because of you, I know I got this. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you. I love you. I love watching your videos. You are so educated. Thank you. No, thank you. If you have an outbreak during your period, then you can take antivirals during that time. You can if you want to. You don't have to. You can do things to boost your immune system. Hey, now. Take this back. I don't want to hold bread while I'm, while I'm alive. Here, Pop. Okay, yeah, you close okay. my door, please? Bread, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want a bread lock. Mm. Uh, I wanted to ask you when I knew I had it, but I don't have anything bad going on down there. How are you? I'm doing, I'm all right, I guess, for the most part. You look amazing, thank you. Foods high in arginine will do it. Foods high in arginine will do it. 
But the thing is, our bodies naturally produce arginine. If you don't know on what arginine is here on this live, arginine is an amino acid, once again, that our bodies naturally produce. And if you take in too much arginine, you can keep an outbreak for there, there longer than what it needs to be. Um, lysine is an amino acid that our body does not produce, but there's a lot of foods that are high in lysine that you can take. Um, the herpes virus thrives with the amino acid arginine, but the herpes virus hates the amino acid lysine. But other foods that can keep an outbreak there longer or even trigger on an outbreak while your prodrome symptoms appear are not just foods high in arginine, but highly processed foods and um, sugary foods. Styles by BKLLC. Hi, beautiful. How are you? If you're not following Styles by BK, go ahead and give her a follow, please. Lysin vitamins help a lot during an outbreak. It's not really vitamins. Um, the over-the-counter license is not really good for you. You shouldn't be taking that every day. I highly suggest that you eat your license versus going to the store and buying your license. The only time I would take an over-the-counter license is if my prodrome symptoms appear or if I'm experiencing an outbreak. An outbreak. <laughs> Alcohol can trigger it too. Now I understand. Yes, that's high in sugar. Nuts, nuts are high in arginine. Alcohol is high in sugar. So foods high in arginine, highly processed foods, high sugar. Oh, this is moving fast. Okay, I need to try eating lysine. Yes, the ultraviolet exposure. Ultraviolet. This is very informative. I'm glad I found you and I don't feel alone anymore. I love that. So if there are another list to be aware to stay away from, Herpes Diet and Remedies Workshop is located in the link in my bio. I put all everything I've researched in these past years all in there. All my resources sources is in the link in my bio. Let me scroll up. I bought your book, but I haven't taken the time to fill it out. How do I move forward positively? Being intentional. Fill out the book. Join our lives. Join us during Healing Wednesday. Set intentions on your life. Figure out what a happy life with herpes looks like for you. Have you ever asked yourselves that without trying to answer it? What does a happy life with herpes look like for you? If you're on this live, I see 63 people on the live. Please tap the screen for me. Support is free and your girl needs it. Thank you, y'all. I see one tap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. OMG, I love you. I love you, too. All right, y'all. I don't know if we're going to stay on here for too much longer. You're so pretty. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay. I'm not crying. Where do you see tears? So I was just diagnosed with HSV2. Can you please give me some advice well, what advice are you seeking i know there's a lot of things i want to say but i know when people first find out they have herpes they don't really want to hear what i gotta say <laughs> so what type of advice are you seeking my love i would say this is only your human experience i would say that it's completely normal i would say that you have to separate the stigma from the virus because they're two different things Learn yourself, learn your body, learn the virus. My bio, mad resources up in there. Heal, take time for yourself. Take time to learn the virus. 
If the virus makes you feel a way about yourself, take time to figure that out. I don't know what that means. Does are you trying to say like herbs? Do herbs cause outbreaks? Herbs are extremely good for you. What herbs are you referring to? I'm fearful no one will want me. Well, why do you don't want? Why don't you want yourself? That's question number one. Me personally, I don't want anybody who don't want me. I know my worth. I know having me is a big flex. I'm a blessing. How I show up in this world, how I uplift souls, what I bring, how I show up as a mother, all of that, it, my herpes can never equate to my worth. If you can walk away from me from something that I cannot help, were you there for me in the first place or were you there for what I have in between my legs? If you don't want me, step. Thank you. Do me a favor. I appreciate my herpes because my herpes does for me. It gets rid of people that I didn't even know that I needed to get rid of. <laughs> okay, that's one. So if you walk away from me because of my herpes, bye. See you later. If I'm constantly getting outbreaks every time I'm around you, maybe I need to cut you off because your negativity and you and your low vibes and you're causing me stress. If I have an outbreak, maybe my immune system is compromised and I need to uh, boost my immune system. My herpes tells me all positive things when it comes to me. It's like a warning. It's like a symbol. It's my body's physical way of trying to tell me something. You have taught me so much about loving me. Thanks. I love that. Peace, Moon. Thank you for sharing. Someone will. It's not death sentence. Look up affirmations every day. I say take some time to yourself. You guys got to make yourself enough. You got to make your desires enough, your hobbies enough. Everything that fills your cup up enough to spend a lifetime with you. Make you enough make your self-love the standard make somebody accepting your herpes an expect a, a requirement an expectation it shouldn't even be in the midst if you fear rejection is because you're rejecting yourself so let's figure out why you're rejecting yourself you are a blessing thank you c matt You're so strong with this situation. Slime Rita. Hey, pretty. Hey. Bam Bam Jojo. Hey, beautiful. Hi. My boyfriend accepted it and he treats me no different. I feel blessed. Okay. Seems like we slowed down. Are you I'm a relationship now? Are you in a relationship now? No, I'm not in a relationship. I'm currently not ready to be in a relationship. How is your day? My day. My day is going. Um, it's a little bit cold here in Florida. Um, which is different. Um... I've been like my frequency goes like this and I've been a little bit on the down slope so I've been in the process of bringing myself right back up to my high slope versus sinking down you're amazing you've helped me feel better and you're so inspiring thank you so much no thank you 
can you pass it on even if you don't have an outbreak? Yes. You are just as contagious during viral shedding as you are during an outbreak. Did you change the way you eat? Yes, I did change the way I eat, but I didn't change the way I eat because of my herpes. I changed the way I, I my the way I ate for other reasons, and in the process of that, I've learned that it was beneficial for my herpes virus as well. Do you recommend taking Valciclovir daily to prevent out outbreaks, even if you don't get an outbreak often? That is a personal choice. I personally don't take antivirals, but some people take them every day. Some people just take them when the outbreak comes. Um, that is something that you're going to have to discover for, you, for yourself. It's crazy how much confidence you have instilled in me. I really appreciate you. You're amazing. Thank you. Perfect. I just admit it to myself. I'm not really ready for a relationship and I'm okay with that and it's absolutely okay to to have a relationship with you spend some time with you you know you know what I'm saying like you some of us is so thirsty to be in a relationship and we don't take time to deal with our, deal with our own stuff fix us love on us have you changed your way of eating yes it's been a long time, Queen. I've been working. I miss you. I'm glad to see you, 50. Welcome. Thank you, Bambi, for the rose. Can you tell us how you got it? I don't know how I got herpes, but I know when I found out I had herpes. Um, I was in, it was 2015, I was in the military, I was living in Hawaii, I was in a relationship at the time, and I had, uh, I thought, what I, what I thought was a razor bump, and it was extremely painful, it was so painful, um, I told my boyfriend at the time, hey babe, look at this, he was like, just go get it checked out, I went to the doctor, call it sick, call in the army, and, um, my doctor was sure it was a razor bump. She's like, it's a razor bump. You have nothing to worry about. It didn't sit well with me. I'm like, please change it. I had to like demand that she take a culture swab of the area. She finally did what I wanted her to do and said, if I didn't hear back from her in two weeks, that I should be good. So I didn't hear back from her. At this time, I'm experiencing pregnancy symptoms. Um, I was throwing up maybe four times a day and again my boyfriend was like you're pregnant go get tested I took an at-home pregnancy test it was positive but I was still in denial so I went back to sick call to get a pregnancy test and the doctor comes in and she says I have good news and I got bad news what do you want to hear first and I'm like all right give me the bad news first she said bad news is is that you tested positive for HSV2 I didn't know what HSV was so that really didn't mean anything to me and she can see the confusion in my face she goes you have genital herpes just don't have sex during an outbreak bad advice just want to throw that out there she said um we ready for the good news yes you're pregnant still waiting on the good news good news never came <laughs> so the day i found out i had herpes was the same day i found out i was pregnant Okay, I under, I love that you say outbreaks last about 12 days and there's three weeks between outbreaks, lots of people, but that is not good information to put out there. Everyone is different and how one person's herpes may show up is definitely not how the next person's herpes is going to show up. Most people within the herpes community are asymptomatic, means that they don't show symptoms at all all there's only a small percentage of us who actually experience outbreaks now everybody's outbreaks appear different look different depending on your lifestyle my personal personal my longest outbreak has been a week my shortest outbreak has been less than 24 
ours. So what's true for one person won't be true for the next person. So you got to take everyone's advice in the herpes community for a grain of salt if they're not doing a job like mine's where I spend every single day talking to the entire community. Coaching calls, workshops, retreats, um, Zooms, membership, private Facebook group, TikTok lives, Instagram lives, YouTube lives. I mean, I spent time. <laughs> so um, what might be true for one might not be true for the next person. What are some sounds that you can have with an outbreak? What are some symptoms? Um, chills, tingling, itching, some people experience burning, some people experience nerve pains, um, fever, cold. Again, they vary for everyone. We list them in our Learn Your Triggers and Prodrome Symptoms workshop. Link in my bio. Would you stay with someone who knew they had HSV-1 but didn't think it could cause HSV-2, so never told you. HSV-1 can't cause HSV-2. It's impossible. Two different viruses. You literally saved my life. Thank you, thank you. No, thank you. When herpes is on your genitals, that doesn't mean HSV-1 just transmuted into HSV-2. It just means that you have genital herpes, HSV type 1. You can have genital herpes, HSV type 1, or genital herpes, HSV type 2. You can have lip herpes, HSV type 1, or lip herpes, HSV type 2. They're two different viruses. I think that's what people forget. There isn't one size fits all. You have to figure out you. Exactly. And that is key. And this is why we stress body journaling. This is why we stress the learn your triggers and prodrome symptoms workshops so that we can guide you along your journey so that you can learn your body, your triggers, and how the, how you can live a happy, healthy life with herpes. What makes them different? What used to make the two viruses different was where they established latency. HSV-1 was known to establish latency in the trigeminal ganglion, and HSV-2 was known to establish latency in the sacral ganglion. Since then, HSV-1 has evolved. HSV-1 is a lot older than HSV-2. There's a lot of people within the community now, and more and more people every day popping up with genital herpes HSV type 1, which means that HSV-1 is now attaching itself to the sacral ganglion. So the difference, that definition, it's not going to be too much of a difference very soon. They're basically the same. <clears throat> Let me see. Did I miss something? Open sores are the classic norm. No, the norm in the herpes community is asymptomatic. No symptoms at all. That is the norm in the herpes community. No outbreaks. Can you outbreak all over the body? <laughs> Chicken pox! Chicken pox is herpes, y'all. Shingles, herpes. How do you forgive the person who gave it to you? Here's the thing. You have herpes. Herpes is here to stay. If you worry about the who, what, when, where, and how, you're going to keep yourself in the loop of the herpes stigma. You're going to keep yourself sad and upset and angry. And every time you think about your herpes virus, you're going to associate it with this person that you're so upset with. You have to learn how to separate the two. Move forward. You can't control the who, what, when, where, how. You have herpes. Forget about it. But you can control with how you move. What you can control is how you move forward. Learn about the virus. So they have no clue what really happens. What do you mean? Uh, 
a lot of doctors talk about it, but they've never experienced it. A lot of doctors don't know much about herpes. Yes? Don't you know that movie where like, the two girls like friends? Mm-hmm. The Parent Trap? Yes. Yeah. What about it? I, I, just, I just wanted to know what, what it was, okay? Okay, babe. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm glad you spread some type of good news about it because people in my city just think the worst and will bash you for real, for real. If you could back in time, would you tell yourself immediately immediately after finding out? What would you tell yourself immediately after finding out? I would tell myself that this is only a human experience. And if you change your perspective, you would change your life. Can I still kiss someone with HSV too? You can do it. You can do whatever you want, Bam Bam Jojo. You can kiss whoever you want to kiss. Hey, I can't see the comments. Dime, Chanel, I agree. Your knowledge can exceed your experience. Do you think it's best to stay with the person that you got it from or move away from them? That's a personal choice. I mean, did you have a choice to get herpes? Did they not tell you they had herpes? Did they know they had herpes? Are you in this toxic relationship? Is the relationship good for you? I mean, there's so many other questions that I have. I can't just answer that question for you. Did you stay with the person who gave it to you? I don't know who gave me herpes success with Nika. I can't say who gave me herpes. I know who I was with when I found out I had herpes. Yeah, there's no way of telling. No one really knows who gave them herpes. Unless you're like the perfect person. But still even then it can lie dormant in your body for years. So there it is that. Alright, it seems like the live is slowing down now. So I'm probably going to get off of this live. Are you okay? You look down today. Slightly down, but always okay. Always okay. Just feeling slightly discouraged, but I'm going to get myself out of the woes. This needs to be a topic in my city that it can stay dormant for years. Can you answer my question? Yes, I can answer your question if I see it. It's not, I'm not George, George Jazz. I, I don't know you enough to purposely want to ignore your question or anything, okay? Like, can you pass HSV2 from kissing? You can only pass herpes through skin to skin contact. So you have to come in contact with where the virus entered your body. I have HSV too, but no one's gonna get herpes from me by kissing because I don't have lip herpes. I have genital herpes. So no one's gonna get my genital herpes by kissing me. But if I had HSV two on my lips, then I could possibly pass on my HSV two from kissing. You on fire, girl. Hey, Kim. Kim is an advocate, and she is a Herpes Can Never cousin. If you're not following Copper Queen, WA, you should go ahead and give her a follow. Sending positive energy and good vibes your way, sis. Thank you, Tiana. Outbreaks should become fevers after 25 years. I'm learning a lot. So if you have HSV1, can a person get herpes from your bag. Such 
a weird question. Uh, maybe you misspelled something. How do you know when you are shedding? An indication that you're going through viral shedding could be an outbreak. An indication that you're going through viral shedding can be when your prodrome symptoms appear. But there are people, well, that's how the virus is commonly spread, that don't show symptoms at all. So they'll never know when they're going through viral shedding. What's your sign? I am a Scorpio. Birthday just passed. It was October 25th. All right. Well, don't seem like we have any more questions. So I'm just going to dip one out. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Happy late birthday. Thank you. Um, if you're searching for herpes resources, don't hesitate to select the link in my bio. My link tree is stacked with resources, stacked with information. Come and follow me on Instagram. We're active on Instagram. We're constantly throwing live. We do Q&A Mondays, Healing Wednesdays, and Sex and Self-Care Fridays. If you want some more of this healing work, you get to meet the co-founder of Herpes Canepa, Miss Amber Spratt Jones, and our beautiful breathwork goddess, Euphoria. Also speaking, it's not just me. We're all talking. <laughs> um... Also, I have my YouTube channel with over 160 vi videos on just how to manage the virus in your own life and also break the stigma within your own life. So don't hesitate to select the link in my bio. Bam Bam Jojo, feel better, beautiful. Love you. Love you too. Thank you. I'm going to get my shit right. <laughs> I appreciate you all and have a good night.